Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Eric Moss Speaks Out, and I have two friendly guests on here today, uh, two of my good friends, acquaintances, both have a YouTube channel, go, go subscribe to them, Captain BB and Double Dog Airsoft, go su subscribe, and uh, if you guys want to introduce yourself, you can. Stop. Hi, I'm uh, Cap BB. I'm Devil Dog Airsoft. <laughs> You guys just call me Daniel. <laughs> okay. So, as you guys all know the format, it's movies, but they might add in some stuff with video games, computers, stuff like that. So, yeah. But I'm starting off first. So, uh, movies that are coming out this week, we have a, not really a lot, but we do have a Christmas horror movie called Krampus. If you guys have seen advertisements for that. Uh, it's been all over YouTube, and I really hate the advertisements, but anyway. Um, they have the advertising for that. It has Adam Scott in it, Tony Collette, and David Koshner. It looks like if you're a horror fan, it, horror fan, it definitely would be something that floats your boat, but I'm not a big fan of horror films, so I'm not going to be checking this one out. And if you guys want to leave any thoughts, you guys can chime in if you want to. Yeah, um, Krampus kind of reminds me of that one, um, American Dad show. I, mean, I, I forgot what it was called, like, the title of it, but it was, like, this one American I Dad. I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's hilarious. That's so why I, so I thought of that when I saw the commercial, and I was like, yo, this ain't gonna be scary at all. It's gonna be laughing yeah. all the time. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I was, uh, you know, um, a bit surprised I thought this movie would be, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, reviews have not came out yet. So I don't know. Yeah, I do not know if it's bad or good. So, anyways, uh, another movie that comes out this week. Uh, I think this is just limited release. I think it comes out wide release next weekend. But that's um, Macbeth, Shakespeare book, turning the movie. It has Michael Fassbender in it. Never seen a trailer for it. Just know about it. I don't. I won't be checking this one out. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But yeah. But that that finishes off with movies that are coming out in theaters there's nothing coming out on dvd this weekend this week quite surprising all we have is fear the walking dead on blu-ray but anyways yeah that's that's the only thing that comes out this week on blu-ray so this point week but next we got a couple of new releases and stuff and um the box office that happened over thanksgiving week weekend was Mocking Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part Two made fifty two million, uh declining forty nine point three percent. The Good Dinosaur made thirty nine point one million, making fifty five point four million on the five day. Cree made twenty nine point six million on three day, it made forty two point one million over the five day. Spectre made twelve point eight million, dropping fourteen point three percent. Peanuts movie made nine point seven million, dropping twenty six point two percent. The night before made eight point three million, dropping fifteen point two percent. Secret in Their Eyes made 4.4 .4 million, dropping 33.5%. Spotlight made 4.4 .4 million, increasing 24.9%. Uh, so sorry about that, guys. I had a good package, so I'll continue off where I was going. Uh, Spotlight made 4.4 .4 million, um, increasing 24.9%. Brooklyn made 3.9 million, making increasing 240%. The Martian made 3.2 million, dropping 15.2%. That rounds up the top 10. Victor Frankenstein also came out. Death Moon bombed in the box office 2.4 million. It made 3.5 million over the five days. Now, I've only seen part, some of these movies. Mockingjay was very mad to me. It was very mediocre, in my opinion. It was nothing big. Um, I was never a big fan of the Hunger Games. I still got... I still got to film a review for it, but um, I was never a big fan of it. I I, did, I didn't like Catching Fire. I now I think of it, I I really hated the P Hunger Games Mockingjay Part One. I thought the first I felt like the first film was okay. This film was very meh. Um, I get to see the Good Dinosaur. I really want to see that Pixar film. Looks awesome. Creed. I did. I was. I I watched that movie. Two weeks before it came out, it was very uh, good in my opinion. Uh, very uh, 
good sequel to the Rocky franchise. I saw Spectre, that was okay. Um, but uh, Hunger Games actually dropped, not too bad. Good Dinosaur made okay numbers, same with Creed made good numbers. Spectre dropped really good. It only, it only dropped less than 20%. I did see it, it was okay. Spectre was fun, but I felt like it kind of dragged, and I felt like it could have been more better. Penis movie did hold up really well compared to the new animation film, um, but I still have to check that out. Night Before is another film I had to check out, but it held up really good, and that's where it's going to be with these comedy films. This is the only comedy film out there, and it's themed to the holidays. Secret in Their Eyes got horrible reviews and had the worst drop of the weekend in the top ten, except for Mockingjay. Um, but Spot Spotlight. Um, made, uh, 4.4 million. So I gotta check this one out. Increase, limited release film, looks really good with Michael Keaton. Brooklyn, do not know much about this film except it's limited release, it might get a few Oscars. And then The Martian, I did see, really loved it, and I'm glad it keeps on making money. But Victor Frankenstein really dropped, really bombed, it, it did not fit, it came out in the wrong timing of the year, it felt like it should have came out last month in October, but, not last month, two months ago now. Um, but it should have came out that day. So, yeah, um, not surprising it's bomb. Do you guys have any thoughts on these films? Well, I haven't really seen too many movies lately. But what I, I can think of talking about right now um, is Star Wars. Basically, like, you know how it's coming out real soon and all. Uh, so, first, let's go over the game. Like, well, the game came out a couple weeks ago. What was it, two, three weeks ago? Around then? What? Uh, the what? Battlefront game. That came out, uh, yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, so, obviously it came out with some bugs, considering it came out from EA, but they, f they fixed a couple things about it. The gameplay itself, it looked it looked pretty good. Graphics-wise, I was rather impressed. I haven't gotten a chance to play it myself, but I have seen it, uh, quite a few gameplay videos, and I do look forward to playing it. The only thing when I was watching it I wasn't too impressed about was the whole the way um the blaster shot. This might just be me, but it just seemed like they were giving the blasters recoil. And if you've seen any of the Star Wars movies, you know that blasters don't have recoil. But somehow the clone troopers tend to miss everything. So it was just kind of a little upsetting for me. I was like, I don't know how to really explain it besides that. But um, the movie itself, well, it's coming out in about two three weeks real soon. Uh, look, really looking forward to it. I have a, we have a friend who keeps like thinking that what's his Jar name? Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks is going to be the main antagonist of the movie. I mean, like, he had some uh, rather impressive ideas, like how a theory, I should say. I actually watched the video, and it, it I did just did not like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it, it's a possibility, a very slim one, but it's still there, like, the amount of evidence points towards the fact that it, he could be the main antagonist. I mean, it's there, but all of us don't want it to be the case. I could speak for all Star Wars fans and say Jar Jar Binks should not be in the new uh, Star Wars coming out. But knowing Disney, anything's possible. <laughs> so, Braxton, you got any thoughts on this week's box office numbers or the films in general, like Hunger Games or The Good Dinosaur, Creed, Spectre? Not giving me an answer. I don't know if he's here, guys. Oh yeah, he's he telling you back in like five minutes. Okay, so it's just me and just me and Devil Dog Air, Devil Dog Airsoft at the moment. Uh, we'll get back into the box office with him. Now, again, this was a slow weekend for movies in general because it was a holiday weekend. It didn't really do anything. Um, not really a lot. Of movie news come out during this time because it's holiday, same thing around Christmas time, not really a lot of things. But we did get a brief teaser for Batman v Superman this week. It was uh, a teaser for the trailer that comes out to, well, since I'm putting this up on Wednesday, it comes out today. Uh, that will be on next week's episode. My trailer review of that will be on next week's episode of America Moss Speaks Out. But the teaser was basically uh, Batman. Um, this was a desert scene if you've seen the other trailers. He's in his desert get-up, and uh, he's hanging from something, hanging by Shane with a couple other people. Superman comes down. He looks furious at him. He takes off um, Batman's mask and just kind of 
looks at it and looks like he's about to kill Batman. Now, this is rumored to be a dream sequence, which I, I, I believe, because early in the other trailers, when Batman was in this desert get-up, he was, he was snapping people's necks. So, it did not... Does it not does it not fit Batman's mode in comics and film? He's kind of a guy that will go at all costs to save people, like Marvel. Um, but anyways, I thought it was decent. I thought it was good for what it was for. I felt like they could have done something else in the teaser than just showing off a dream sequence, which really will hope, which won't really hold any value in the film except for maybe some development. But yeah, do you have any thoughts? On Batman v Superman, Devil Dog Airsoft. What's up? Do you have any thoughts on Batman v Superman? I was tired. I got disconnected for a second there. Um, well, Batman beat Superman, so. Batman. Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, Braxton, you back? Yeah, I'm back. Hello. Do you got any thoughts on Batman v Superman? Um. They came out with another trailer, didn't they? Yeah, I, I was reviewing that trailer. Well, the trailer technically comes out, well, today, on Wednesday, because this, film, this thing's going up Wednesday, but they revealed a 50-second teaser for the trailer. Oh, okay. Well, personally, I, I think it's going to be pretty good, but I'm not sure uh, until we actually see it, so... Don't really yeah. have any have many thoughts until it actually comes out. Um. So Daniel, you formulated your thoughts on Batman v Superman. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it's, it'll be an interesting movie for sure. Like I I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I just had to go downstairs get myself some tacos. Tacos. Mm -hmm. Say Taco Tuesday. It is. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now that wraps up. That wraps up movie trailers. Again, as I said, no, it was a slow week. But yeah. So now, movie news. Not really a lot of movie news. So again, bear in mind, slow week, holiday weekend. But um, they are making a Rambo show on Fox. Originally, they were supposed to make a Rambo Five, but that never came out. But now that's on hold. And so, Vester Stallone is supposedly returning to play Rambo in this new show, and it's going to be a father-son dynamic show, which I think is stupid. I think it's as stupid as they're making a Taken TV show. If you guys don't know that, NBC's making a Taken show, which is, I think, super stupid. So, do you guys have any thoughts on Rambo getting a TV show? I mean, if it works. <laughs> if... If if it rolls in money, then that means it's working. <laughs> now, I think Sylvester Stallone, I felt like he did really good in Creed, but he has not made any consistent good film, so I'm I'm okay. You know, I, mean, I have to see it first. I have to actually see what it will be about. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, uh, the director of Mission Impossible 5, uh, Christopher McQuarrie, he also did Jack Reacher as well, and also wrote Ed Tomorrow. He's returning to direct Mission Impossible 6, and I have yet to see Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, but I heard it's good. I know someone, I know someone in this chat has seen it, but I've yet to see it, probably see it by the, at least the end of the year. So, um, I think if McQuarrie continues off how good he did Rogue Nation, according to reviews and stuff, I think he can definitely make a, another good Mission Impossible film. Now, what was your thoughts on Rogue Nation, Captain B.E.B.? Uh, yeah, it was good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. He... <laughs> Give me a few seconds. Devil Dog Garris, have you got any thoughts on Mission Impossible? Uh, they better make it good. <laughs> <laughs> they better make it good, that's all I can say. Okay. We're waiting for you, Captain B. B. Yep, still eating. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get back to him. Um, so we'll get back on this topic. We'll get back to what he thought of Rogue Nation later on. I'm going to go to my next one here. 
Um, Predator. They're making another Predator movie. Uh, it's being directed by Shane Black, the director of Iron Man Three, which I thought was. I really thought. I really think Iron Man Three was a very underrated film. I really loved it. But uh, supposedly the Predator script is now completed. I don't know if that means it's like it's already been approved by. I think 20th Century Fox for a film, and they're going to start filming soon, or if it's just done the first draft, and they're going to be continuing drafts or not. But I really enjoy Predator movies. I enjoyed Arnold Schwarzenegger one. I actually enjoyed the Danny Glover one, Predator 2. And then I enjoy, really enjoyed Predator, but I felt like they really needed to jo- show more Predator in the film. So what are your guys' thoughts on Predator getting a new film? I'm actually, now that you mention it, I'm actually pretty excited for this one. <laughs> I'm really into like the sci-fi action kind of movies and then adding the horror aspect to it also being Predator it really just adds to the movie and I really I really look forward to seeing this one I feel like they can really make this a really good movie and then I also saw both Alien vs. Predator films the Alien vs. Predator is kind of like a guilty pleasure film I know it's bad but it actually is fun to watch but the second one was just I think I think both of them are kind of like fun to watch, but you know they're bad type things. So, yeah. Braxton, you got any thoughts on Predator? Uh, it depends on if I saw the first movies. Oh, okay. Now, going back on Mission Impossible, what were your thoughts on Mission Impossible Rogue Nation? Uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I, I thought it was, uh, pretty good overall. The storyline bit if you had times, but I thought that it was, uh, really good. I liked the actors in it. Of course, you had, um, Tom Cruise is the main character, and um, I, I'm not sure. No, I don't. I don't think I've watched the other Mission Impossible's. But one of my favorite actors, uh, British actors, is uh, Simon Pegg. Simon yeah, Pegg. he's really good. Uh, I thought he oh. did a good part. I thought uh, overall, I'd give it a good rating. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna, since my Skype can only record up to 15 minutes, stopping it now, it will be, it won't even feel like it's a stop, guys. So, yeah, so, also, we only got, I only got three more pieces of news, guys, so, again, this is gonna be a very, uh, short one. Um, Mad Max Fury Road was named Best Movie by National Board of Review, and they also named Inside Out, I think The Hateful Eight, um, I think they also named a few other ones. I, I think they named The Martian as another Good, one of the best movies of this year. I think I think Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation might have actually been on it. Not sure though. But uh, I really enjoyed Mad Max: Fury Road. I loved it. Uh, I felt like they could have done stuff a little bit better, but really a fun action movie. It's basically nonstop action at the whole entire film. So I really enjoyed that. And I believe that um, I can't. I really think they need to do a sequel for the film. I think Tom Hardy really did good as Mad Max. Um, so yeah, I, um, um, so yeah, um, what are your guys' thoughts on Mad Max, if you've seen the film? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I played the game. <laughs> you played the game, yes. okay. Okay. I cannot okay. draw relations to the movie, but the game is still pretty good. Um, I enjoy playing it on controller because the PC settings for it aren't all too optimized well. Okay, so I really uh, okay. Only to be more pieces of news for movie wise, and we'll get on some a new subject which has yet to be featured in Eric Moss Speaks Out, but uh Rock the Casbah which had Bill Murray in it. I know McKellen would love Bill Murray. <laughs> um it was named the least profitable movie of this year. Um, other films also include We Are Your Friends, Aloha, Selfless, Jim the Holograms. I think a few others as well. I'm going to try to check this out. Um, but yeah, I think Rock the Casbo, I have not seen it yet, but I thought it was, um, I didn't I didn't like the the really, um, the good, um, I didn't like, I. it just didn't look that good. Okay, so here are the least popular films of 2015, according to IndieWire, which got it from Forbes, was Rock the Casbah, The Gunman, Black Hat, Unfinished Business, Gemini and Hologram, Selfless, American Ultra, We Are Your Friends, Aloha and Mordecai. 
I actually watched some of these movies, um, to be surprised. I watched um, Unfinished Business. I actually enjoyed that one. American Ultra, I enjoyed that one as well. I enjoyed We Are Your Friends. Mordecai just uh, stunk the big crap, so I do not suggest watching that. But um, have you guys seen any of these films? Most likely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I don't know if uh, this signals the end of Bill Murray's stuff. But anyways, I thought that was a really nice bit of news. I know the. I think the most profitable movie this year is Jurassic World. Like, that made 1.6 billion dollars on like a 200 million dollar production budget. So it probably made over a billion dollars in revenue. Okay, so my last piece of news. Last week, Captain America: Civil War trailer came out, and it broke Marvel records in one day. It made 61 million views in the first day. Star Wars holds. Star Wars: The Force Awakens holds the record with 100 and. 10 views opening, uh, 105 views on the internet, and 16 views on on TV. So I made like 120 views, million views in this first day. So what are your guys' thoughts? If you have seen it, Captain America Civil War trailer, because I broke this down last week. I have actually seen it. Uh, personally, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm excited for it. I'd love to see Tony Stark being beaten. Um, not to say that Tony Stark is my favorite character. It would just be nice to see two other superheroes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a superhero, right? Uh, Wonder Soldier? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see two other superheroes beating down on my favorite. It, I think it would be a nice fight. I have not read the comic, so I have absolutely no idea what's going to go on in it. Well, is, in the comics, oh, is it not based on the comic? It it is somewhat. In the, in the comics, it was um, I forget what what started the um the, in the comics it was where um because no one revealed their identity in the comics except for Tony Stark as Iron Man I think, and something happened I forget what happened I think it was something with some guy named Titanium Man I'm not sure though, um but, then uh, the government forced them to reveal their identities and work for the government and then you had Iron Man joining the government Civil Captain America was against the government and Spider both teams are trying to get Spider-Man that's why uh he's in this film but I don't think he's going to be in it a lot um but they he's in he's in the film I heard that he, he might have a few action scenes in it but he's not going to be as much he's not going to be a central part of it he's going to have a part in it but he's not going to be as big as it was in the comics but at the end of Civil War um, cause he also had a Red Skull, um, also in the background trying to assassinate, um, Captain America, and he, um, then you had Sharon Carter from Winter Soldier, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Red Skull brainwashes her and she kills Captain America, and that's how the Civil War ends, where Captain America gets killed off, and Tony Stark feels bad, and then they stop the whole thingy, the whole, um, Super, the the identity thing. So yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that way. I don't think they're gonna end it that way. But yeah, you never know. So that, that's how that was the comics. So Double Dog Airsoft, you got any comments on America's Civil War? If you've seen the trailer, uh, give me about two more minutes. Miles done watching the trailer. <laughs> oh okay. You better you better not put audio in here. You better not get copyright. No, it's okay. I'm listening through my headphones. Okay. So that fit. We'll get back on his thoughts on it right as soon as he watches it. But um, now we're going to start the gaming section with my good friend, Captain BB. He's going to cover this. This might be a weekly thing. You know, we never know. But, hopefully, yeah. hopefully. So you can, you can start talking. Okay, so basically in this gaming section here, I'm going to be talking about the CSGO news, CSGO uh, esports rankings, um, just general news of, um, well, more well-known gaming news, uh, things that are revolving around um, Fallout 4 and anything else I can find on my sites that I use. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to start with the CSGO updates. Uh, personally, I absolutely hate the new CSGO footstep sounds uh, released 10th of November, which is very, very long ago. 
Uh, moving on, we're going to do CSGO uh, matches going on, I think, this week, I believe. Yes, upcoming matches here. Uh, there are a bunch of um, lesser-known teams going on. Uh, I believe I had something up saying, yeah, here we go, ongoing CSGO events. We got, of course, ESL and ESEA, Star Ladder, Game Revolution, uh, Champions League, GL, uh, Fragbite Masters, and Global Esports Cup. It was also announced that the, uh, if I can find it, the next major tournament would be around next year, March, I believe. I'm not sure if that's right. I'm going to need to look it up later. Uh, moving on to rankings of the teams. Now, Gosu Gaming or Gosu Gamers says uh, the CS:GO ra rankings right now. Uh, number one overall, Global and EU, is Fnatic. Two is Team Solomid. Three is MBS. However. Contradicting that, HLTV.org says that NVS is ranked 1, TSM is ranked 2, and Fnatic is ranked 3rd. Now, uh, I just learned this, but my friend told me that there is going to be a redesign of Nuke uh, that is supposedly going to come out on December 3rd. There is... Well, I couldn't find the art article myself. I just got it. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, CSGO matches. So, according to HLTV.org slash matches, right now live is... Ooh, crap. Right now live is Astral Authority versus Gosu. Uh, just started on cash. Um, these, these are under the, I apologize, this is my first time doing something like this. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know a whole lot about CSGO, I do know what it is, kind of like Call of Duty type thing on PC, I've seen some gameplay, not a whole lot though, um, I think I've watched All Sham the Wow and Joostra play it a few times, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah not... they, they play it. Um, okay, so, let's see, the things that are going on right now uh, is Quick Shot Arena, which is also a league, uh, a minor league, um, I haven't heard of it so far, but it's Astral Authority versus Gosu, uh, Nexus S versus TBDD, or TBDB, uh, moving on is Counter Pit League is Vox versus Trident, then Star Ladder is Tylu versus Pal, and the next one is Gank versus Various A. Uh, that's going to be, all those matches are going to be happening in the next 12 hours or so. Devil Dog Airsoft, you got any input on this? On CSGO? Well, yeah. I'm a rather um, novice player. <laughs> I think my KD is like 1 in 30, and, um, yeah. Um, so I, I, I so did watch the um, trailer just now for, um... Okay, okay Captain, good. I think it was pretty good, because, you see, like, Captain America is honestly my favorite Marvel character. So, just seeing him in the movie is just like, yeah, I, I gotta see that for sure. So, I'm looking for okay. this one. On the line of gaming, I just read on Google that there was this one guy that encountered 30,000 30, death claws. Ah, uh, yes, okay. That's a uh, fallout mm. for it. Uh, he did, I believe one person did 10,000 death claws versus 100 Brother of Steel soldiers. Um, sadly, the death claws won. <laughs> and there's another dude. Um, let me see if I can find the site, but it said supposedly 300,000 death claws. I may be getting that wrong, but we'll see in a few seconds here if my page loads. Um, talking more about CSGO. CSGO teams, uh, there's there's not too much to talk about except um, what, I, I, what caught me off guard 
was Sean Gares leaving Cloud9. Sean Gares was their in-game leader. And uh, there was a tribute video put it up on put up on the Cloud9 website for him. Uh, they're doing tryouts right now, so if you think you're good at CSGO, I know I'm not. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, see how you can try out there. I'm not sure how to try out. You're going to need to look it up on the website. Yeah, you wonder who's good at CSGO? McCallan. He's played 72 <laughs> hours. Don't even get me started on that. He, he, why are you laughing? He said good at Okay, now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pause it again. I gotta stop this recording. It's gonna feel like Brent. It's gonna feel so fast. Okay, if I continue. Oh yeah, I it started recording again. Okay, so I just got the news here. It said Fallout 4 melts down with 300,000 death claws versus 300 Brother of Steel soldiers. Now, my prediction is that the 300,000 death claws are going to demolish the Brother of Steel soldiers. However, you have to have faith in the Brother of Steel soldiers. Just, just a little faith. Maybe they'll win. Maybe they won't. Who cares? I care. <laughs> uh, I meant to say, you never really know until you see the video, and I don't plan on watching it yet. I got this news from PS uh, PC Gamer. Uh, moving on from that, there isn't very much left of CS:GO to talk about. Uh, C uh, Cloud 9s Shroud is going to be substituting for. Mm, someone in method uh, and I think that is all for gaming wise however there's one thing that I sort of want to cover real quick I'll just go through it very quickly let's let's take it up with the judge what um okay eh, sure why not <laughs> okay so we're, move, we're moving on with uh, Spring 2016 anime. Now, personally, I am a big anime fan. I'm not sure if this channel would be willing to accept that I talk about anime, but we'll just throw this out there, see what happens. Um, getting this information from LiveChart.me, Spring 2016 TV shows. Uh, new season of Beyblade. And uh, if you don't know what Beyblade is, it's a really fun um, game. <laughs> Not video game. Um, and it was uh, turned into a show. And the new season is called Beyblade Burst. Uh, then there are all these various shows that are new, uh, such as Big Order, um, Unhappy. And then there's the one that we have all been waiting for, personally I've been waiting for it, is the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney anime. And that's that's something that I'm waiting for. Next thing is Asterix Wars second season. Uh, a new season of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, a new season of Magi. Um, is there anything else listed here? There is nothing too important, except for a new season of Terraformers, which I've never really gotten into. Uh, but we'll see how that turns out. Um, that'll all come out spring 2016, so yeah, that's all I wanted to cover. Is there okay, uh, um, uh, okay, this one, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Battlefront, in my opinion on it. Okay, now, I'm a console gamer. I've never really played PC games, except for one time, for a short while, I played RuneScape. I don't know why, um, but anyways, um, Star Wars Battlefront is um, $60 uh, to get it for P PS4 or Xbox One, um, but then it's also $50 to buy the season pass as well. There's no single, there's no campaign. You really can only play online unless you want to play against bots with split screen and I really think that really defeats I really loved I think it defeats the purpose because I really loved Star Wars Battlefront for the PS2 you know me and my me and my brother really had great memories on that and I'm just even though it looks great engine wise and graphically it I just I just can't support it man <laughs> but anyways I think that should wrap up our 
episode, our first collab video of Eric Moss Speaks Out. Go subscribe to these guys. Cap BB, Double Dog Air. So I'll probably put their channel links up on the screen now. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll probably see my link up there um, on the screen. Uh, I have a Facebook page. Um, link on the screen. Oh, please like and share with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to me, please do. Also, subscribe to these two channels. Because uh, this might be... Uh, we're probably going to do this quite a few times, depending on uh, the feedback and stuff. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you guys have any final words to these kind people who watched you guys? This is our first time. We know we suck. <laughs> well. <laughs> but we'll get better. Maybe. If you, you know, if you guys like us. Okay. It sounds so depressing, man. It's like... It's the truth. <laughs> the truth sucks. It does, but it needs to be out there. Okay. Well, okay. I, got one, I got one thing to say, guys. Um, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely go ahead and sub to Eric. Um, if, if you guys want to see more, like you said, put in the comments below, let us know. And um, give us some topic ideas so, you know, we can just actually start talking about stuff you guys want to hear about. So that's maybe a suggestion right there. Okay. So, hope all you guys have a good day. Uh, thanks for listening yep. to us. Um, so, yeah, hope all you guys have a good day. And